Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we're back to continue our playthrough of Baldur's Gate Throne of Ball. We are currently exploring level 4 of Watcher's Keep, which is the, the level that has the machine of Lum the Mad. We have met Karsten. We have dealt with the magic golems outside and we came here to this area. To clear out this Githyanki encampment. I've checked out the loot that was on the ground and now I'm checking out the loot that's in the containers. Flint and Tinder. We know what this is for. To light up the braziers or the braziers outside. Get some potions. I'm having a little bit of trouble with my inventory space currently on Yan, but shouldn't be much of an issue. Uh, she already has pff, a wand with 100 charges, <coughs> but I can take it anyway. And just put it in a bag of holding. Who knows, it might get drained by some kind of enemy. And that's something I, I would prefer not to have happen. So I'm checking out the containers that I didn't loot and there are still two doors for me to check out. <coughs> so here we have a wand. Another wand of spell striking. I mean, I have a lot of these. I'm just gonna drop this now. And take this because this looks like another note. It is. From Lum the Mad. So Palpatine, get over here. So be it. I'm gonna give you some stuff, my friend. You are gonna take this, you are gonna put this away, put this over here. They're still all lined up. No, they're not. Okay, now they are. So now I have seven notes. And I'm also gonna pick up this. It might come in handy. Gold gold, some bullets, some bolts. We also have this entire section here. And this one there. You can check this out. I don't think this is trapped. Doesn't look like it. Don't care about the moonstone gem. And let's get everyone over here. Because this is where we have our doors to explore. You sound like got it. It's true. This is, I think, a Githyanki ship, which does not appear to be trapped. Cool. And this has a necklace. Okay. Montolios's clasp. This clasp belongs to the cloak of Montolio de Brochy, the blind teacher of the famous Drow Ranger Drizid Dwarden. Ah. It hums with the powerful enchantments locked within. Probably something to use in crafting, because it's a necklace that doesn't do anything for now. This is full, so you take it. <coughs> That's all we got here. And here, the purple oil. Okay, so now we only need the red oil. I can feel your anger. Okay, this doesn't look to be like an area to explore here. Looks like a new area altogether. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's be careful with this. You don't have any mirror images? That should be fine, though. I actually forgot to give her impervious sanctity of the mind. So take that. I am I Raven? I have this to put on, which I keep forgetting. What is it now? <coughs> Let's also get removed here. And the spirit armor on my friend here. And let's see what's in this area. So be it. What is that? 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. A damn glitch. No, no. No, 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 no. This is this is not good. This is not good. I was not expecting I a demolich. I don't want to fight a demolich here. Uh, okay, so you swapped this. Oh god. Um. <sighs> Let's get some immunities here to abjuration. If I can, I'm not sure if I can get them in time. I mean. You go berserk, and you try to cast. Where is it? Here you go. True seeing. This is probably gonna go badly. Go over there. So what is this guy doing? Man, I don't have protection from anything. Not from fire, not from magic. If this guy starts shooting out. Um, Horde Wiltings, it's gonna be a bad time. So he has. Let me check. We cannot go out, which is horrible. Okay, we protect from fear, thankfully. He has spell trap, mirror image. He's invisible, protection from fire, protection from acid. Protection from magic energy, stone skin, mind blank, chain contingency with. Protection from magical weapons, symbol fear, and immunity abjuration. So if I would like to hit him, I would need to remove spell trap, and I would need to remove immunity to abjuration. He does not have a spell shield though. So maybe a single spell strike would be enough. Okay, we'll see. Uh, he's not showing himself. I am gonna try and maybe cast a planetar here. Or I'll just wait for the guy to show himself. And then I'll decide. Okay. So Edwin, you're gonna go over here. Jan, you're gonna go over there. I just wanna spread out my party. Herdlis, go over there. Why can't I see them? Wonderful. Comet on Yon. Power sounds on Yon. Dragon's breath on Yon. Jesus Christ! Okay, so Yon. Um, we're gonna have to run away. I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to withstand the onslaught. Let's see, do I have a chain contingency? I do, but I don't want to get hit. So let's cast a protection from magical weapons here. I'm gonna have to give Jan these boots. I am not entirely sure how this is gonna work out, if the comet and if the flame breath, if they follow me or if not. Because they might not follow me. I think they land in this in this position. Have you so, else to do but oh my me? god. Please run away. Like, really far yes, away. Yes, I see. Yeah. You're gonna take the hit, aren't you? Yes, I will. Trust is for the foolish and the dead. <sighs> yes, master. What I just gotta pray, now? pretty much. Well, let's see. Mm. So no, 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 no! Don't go for Corgan. Uh, or actually, you can go for Corgan. Um, okay, so you... Oh god. Okay, the effects have landed. 
Yes. My contingency went off. Be quick with it. You should be safe from a, a vorpal hit, hopefully. Demolich has shown himself. So let's start trying to hit him, but we can't, obviously. Um, I want a spell strike on the Demolich. But I might start with time stop. Not sure. Let's maybe go for the time stop here, so I can also heal myself. Okay, Vicky, get back. Jan, you're pretty much not gonna do a lot. You are silenced, so you can also move back here. Okay, I'm safe. Can I have, like, this guy focus on Palpatine? And go beat the Demolich. Victory shall be ours. You okay, know. I want you to cast a death ward on her release. Or actually, I don't need it. Yeah, I don't need it. I can just use avoid death. Okay, that's better. So she can go back and she can cast. What can, what can she cast? Man, I I. I wish I had Sunray here to try and hit the Demolich with it. Sadly, I do not. I have a Bolt of Glory. Do I have any more True Scene? I don't. I do have it on Corgan though. So you go over there. Vicky, you just stand back. Destiny awaits. Jan, also go back. Corgan, go over there. Okay, avoid death. Try and hit him. Okay, focus on Palpatine, you bitch. Give me back my boots. And once you're safe... Okay, he's going for Herdlees. Herdlees cannot die. And I want to try and imprison him. Okay. So, you are in relative safety. You are gonna cast True Sight. And you are gonna cast a Mass Cure. Thank you. Can you stop going for her please? Thank you. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna get interrupted, am I not? Let's see. Okay, mass cure. He keeps going for Corgan. Get away. Okay, time stop for Merlin. Nice. So Palpatine hasn't started casting. So I think I'm gonna abort his imprisonment spell. And I am instead going to move over here. One day. One day. I'm gonna cast Input Blackity. Why are you taking acid damage? Ah, okay. So let's imprison. The planet are. Uh, I'm gonna run over here. And let's try and cast. Hopefully, if the guy is not invisible, uh, a spell strike on the damage. Apparently, I can't. Cool. Okay, spell strike has gone out. Let's move back. Actually, to over here. Uh, you are fine, you can just hold on. Or actually, detecting this? No, not needed. Go over here to avoid 
the planetar for now. Okay, he's gonna get imprisoned. You can heal up. The spell psych has gone off. I nearly forgot about that. So let's hit him with a breach. Should be enough, I think. Vicky, you are gonna target the guy with an implosion, which I'm not sure if it's gonna land. Hopefully it does. You are gonna cast Vocalize. You are gonna heal yourself. Okay, everybody's got a plan. Okay, imprisonment has gone out. Jan has cast Vocalize. Where's my beach? Ah, okay, so never mind. Spell Strike targets invisible creatures. Other stuff is not. So, you are gonna come over here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to now. God damn it. Okay, protect yourself from fire. Have you nothing else to do but bother me? Do the same. Just gonna have to wait for the. Um, the gem here. Which sucks, but whatever. Okay, speed of chaos. You're safe, right? Negative three, you're fine. Protection from magical weapons as a contingency. Oh, my protection from fire did not go out. Should be fine though. Okay, so just gotta wait here. Come on. Gem went out, nice. I should be able to breach him. Right. Okay, breach is going out. It landed, combat protection dispelled. I want to give you... Critical Strike or Greater Whirlwind? I think Greater Whirlwind to hit him more often. Try and interrupt. Okay. And you... What do I want from you? You no longer have protection from death magic. Let's go for Greater Evasion. Vicky? You can now cast implode. Whoops, not this. Cast an implosion. Don't hear you. I can hear you just fine. What can you do? You are safe from fire, aren't you? So just go and hit him, maybe. And Edwin. What should I fetch now? Let's wait and see what he does. Okay, let's divide my head lease, hit the guy. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Spell sequence, improved in Viz. Stone skin, mind spell deflection. Okay. I think true seeing just went out, so I'm gonna be able to see him again. Oh, you bitch. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to avoid this. My berserking went out. Okay, so wait. He has a minor spell deflection. Which I can remove. Let's use the ruby ray here. Okay. And after that hits... Man, really? Can I not make him... Does this save people from becoming imprisoned? Let me see. Come on. Just in charm. No, it is not. God damn it. Well. Okay. 
My spell got cancelled, that's fine. The enrage did not go off. Okay, there goes Corgan. There goes the Ruby Ray. Let's hit him with another breach. What? Oh, I keep forgetting. Why do I keep forget forgetting? God. Virgin Viz, quickly. Thank you. Beach. Let's get a improved haste on Herdlees here. Come on, kill the bitch. She's taking damage. Stone skin. Okay, breach him again. Jan, hit him, please. You, cast improved taste on. <laughs> the desperation. Cast improved taste on Jan. You are going to cast a Bolt of Glory, which you do have, yes you do, on Demolich. Okay. He's taking damage from Draconia. Is he not getting hit by Herr Delis? No, because we keep missing. Jesus Christ. Um, he should still have protection from a lot of stuff. Let's see if this lands. Should I get a planetar on top of him? Maybe. I mean, why not, right? I'm not even sure if if this hits him. God damn it, man. Um, well, let's see if this hits. Shoot him. Shoot him. Okay, apparently they do hit. Whoa. Protection from magical weapons again. You have a breach, right? Yes, you do. Hit him. He's ugly. <laughs> Mirror image. Good lord. I think I'm just gonna, gonna have to burn through the mirror images. Yeah, pretty much. By the way, I'm kind of standing in a sphere of chaos with this guy. Ah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, just keep shooting. I'm also gonna use this on Vicky, even though she will not be able to move anymore. Get him. No Ran out. Get back. Oh my lord, how many do you have? Protection from magic weapons again. Breach. Stop, stop shooting. Breach going out. He's breached. Hit him. Come on. What did he do? A spell trigger of remove magic, greater malison, and that spell. You bitchy man. Okay, you get the hell away. Everyone else, keep hitting. Come on. Okay. <clears throat> well, that was something. Instantly losing Corgan was not my idea of fun. It would have definitely helped. 
And he did not die to the Mace of Disruption. I mean, not to the effect. He died to pure damage. Okay, well. Yes. Let's bring our friend back. Most now, obviously, I don't have memories. freedom memorized. Why would I? It does not make sense. But I do have a lot of those scrolls here. Man, just as my berserking went out. Well, when I say a lot, I have four. Hmm. Not much of a fan of that. It's treason. Then. So he got in prison somewhere over here. Oh, I don't have a choice. Okay. Hello, Corgan. Oh, I forgot about this. Because I'm also freeing the fallen planetar that the leech, that the leech summoned, but thankfully it was after his uh, summon timing had worn off. Man, Corgan didn't get the experience. But well, he's alive, so... I have some of his stuff as well. Hello, Corgan. So what musters your interest in just another fabulous dwarf? <laughs> we seek a strong warrior to accompany us. Would you be such a person? Aye, strength is me birthright. Courage me inheritance. War me destiny. But why should I join a motley band of beggars like he? Bitch, come on. Well, good company, great risk and treasure. Perhaps more than you can imagine. Hell and damnation, fools. Me head can imagine a fair horde. I have no impulse to travel with a sad bunch of made you prick... What? Prick me dainties? Return when the reason is better than your company alone. Okay, okay. I think we have to pay him out. For your mercenary services we offer... 500 gold. Any questions? 500 gold? Aye, there be a fair venture. Consider me a comrade in arms. I'll just secret the coin away from me so you don't think of cheating away with it. <laughs> okay. So, Corgan's back. He did not get the experience from the fight, which is kind of sad. But he's alive. That's what matters. And, honestly, taking into consideration I was not prepared for this at all I'm kinda happy with the result let me get my chain contingency back and let's also thank our lucky stars didn't have a chain contingency with hard wiltings because otherwise this would have been a very short fight we're still alive, we're still alive <laughs> protection from magical weapons Uh, not this. Go like this and go like that. I mean, maybe not this. Or should I? Maybe I should. Okay, done. What is it you now? also popped your contingencies. Of course you did. Let's get them back. Okay, so if I am hit, I will want a protection from the elements, a glow of invulnerability, and a protection from magical weapons. That's what I want. Done. For a contingency, I might want an improved haste, maybe? So if I'm hit, I have no more improved taste. Nice. <laughs> uh, spell shield then, I guess. Mm. Nah, this. Okay. This sparrow is You also I lost yours. I'm. Course. You didn't. Okay, cool. So, we are set, right? Chain Contingency Spell Sequence Spell Trigger. You have everything. Okay, my Spell Trigger is also defensive. This is lovely. Okay, 
So, what did you drop, Mr. Lich? Let's just give our stuff back to Corgan, because this was his. Put this back where it belongs, and check it out. 20,000 gold, one gold ring, and, oh, and a dagger. What is this dagger? A dagger of the star plus four. Rumored to have been dropped from the heavens by a careless lesser deity, this dagger is a favorite among thieves and assassins as it will sometimes magically hide its user from the victim's sight. What? There's a 5% chance of making the user go invisible for one turn after each successful attack. <laughs> okay. I guess this could be kind of cool for something like um, a fighter thief. With a lot of attacks per round and the nice backstab multiplier. Because 5% is kind of horrible, so I would need to have like 10 attacks per round to make this work. And even then, it's more of a fun weapon than anything else. Let's keep the appendix here. And there's also this. You know, this reminds me of that time way Oh, what about your contingency? It also got popped. Okay. Let's get back. Um, so if I am hit, I want a stone skin. Not as impressive as protection from magical weapons, but it will have to do. Okay. This reminds me of the turn of Sellers. I didn't even remember there was any more there were more demoliches in the game other than Kangax. Yes, yes, a standard tactic that Oh What this? A manual So be it. What is this manual? Ah, and let's also put stuff back where it was. So she had some booties. You have some booties. That's fine. I'm going to keep these. Okay. A greater grimoire of demon binding. This terrible book bound in angel skin. Ooh and scarred by powerful magic, contains some of the deepest secrets of the fiends of the lower planes, including the true names of pit fiends and balors. Through detailed study of the grimoire, a mage can learn how to exercise a modicum of control over summoned fiends. When using the mage spells Summon Fiend, Cackle Fiend and Gate to bring forth a fiend, the character will bind the fiend called forth to obey his will instead of simply leaving it to rampage at random. That could be cool. Most wizards avoid demon binding for good reason. He who traffics with fiends puts his immortal soul at risk. Each time the character summons and binds a fiend, there is a 10% chance that his alignment will shift one step towards evil. If he is already evil, then there is instead a 10% chance that his soul will be forfeit to the denizens of the lower planes. Ah. A character whose soul is lost in this way cannot be resurrected from the dead. Once slain, he is forever lost. Summoning the mightiest of fiends only in increases the risk. When using the gate spell, these chances are instead each 25%. God damn. Upon use, the book disappears to reappear somewhere else across the plains. I'm just gonna put this here and never touch it. <laughs> and what? we are done okay, with this area. I can hear you just fine. Execute order 66. Ah, okay, I forgot she cannot... No. Sorry, Corgan. No, 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 no. Wait, what? No. Ah. Two stuns are dust. Here. Now, not. Sorry. Do it. This was actually stupid because I'm gonna rest. But whatever. Huh. Wait.
this is a dragon. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm not sure if it's really gonna be a dragon or not. But I am definitely gonna re have a rest. Hello, Sespanar. You have mine blank already, which lasts for a long time, correct? You do. Let's rest. Get a stone skin up. You are gonna get. Actually, I'm gonna do this over there. I can feel your anger. Return from whence I came. Sir and I'm not sure if it's a dragon, but it does look like it. So I forgot to level up. Level up Herd Lease, additional level 7 spell, and another HLA. What do I want here? I have this, I have this, I have two avoid deaths, I have his new item, three greater evasions. I'm gonna go for an additional set time trap. Just in case. Okay, now, since we are possibly about to face a dragon, let us protect ourselves, eh? Master, what should I fetch now? I do not kill my okay, so let's get a remove fear. You sound like gold. Get some more emotions. Now, the one thing I really don't like here is the fact that I don't know if it is a dragon, I don't know what kind of dragon it is, <clears throat> so I can't really protect myself against any particular element. Um, so maybe I'm gonna swap something around here. I want you with more elemental defenses. You are also gonna swap to something like this. You are fine already and the rest of us are gonna have to deal with it as it comes. Okay. <clears throat> What? Is there a griffin about? So emotion wise, I'm done. Therefore Execute Order 66. Let us protect ourselves from the most common element here. So I'm gonna protect myself from fire. Don't yell. Yes. I can hear you just fine. This sparrow is ready to fly. At your command. Chaotic commands. Protect the here. Jon Jonsson at and your And protect service. Vicky. What is it now? Oh you guys don't have it, okay. Uh, so maybe protect me from cold uh, and protect Herr Delis from cold. Yes, Let's get some more chaotic command going. Protect Vicky. Okay, so I think we're kind of safe from <clears throat> some elements, which is cool. So now we're gonna do Go the typical buffing else. stuff, which in this case, what am I gonna do? Okay, let's just wait for this spell trap. I am yours. You are gonna get in for the sanctity of the mind. Let's blur. Okay, everybody has blur. Let's get some mirror images going. Okay. Let's get some spell music to abjuration. What should I fetch now? You are also gonna get a shield of the Archons. Okay. 
Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything, but I, I might be. <laughs> <clears throat> so this is done. What else could I need? I could put protection from magic energy, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. Uh, so I think I'm okay. So let's get an improved haste on Corgan yes. and on Herd the Least, and let's Build get a I can hear you haste right. on everyone else. I do want you to have some mirror images afterwards. This lasts for how long? One turn. Okay. Well, let's first Good. see what we have over here. Do it. Gu guys, come on. Yeah. This is not the time to be stuck. Thank you. Victory shall be ours. You know this. Okay. My friend, you must gather your party before venturing forward. Pray for me, Argentina. Oh God. Be quick with it. I do not care much. <clears throat> I'm gonna go. Fourth with Herr de Lis, I can feel your because he's well protected is a role I am glad to play. against against stuff like dispel magic and remove magic. So be it. And I then we're gonna see about the rest. If you but learn to play. <laughs> Execute Fate order. Enter Herr de Lis. A red dragon, Celadrax. He's not hostile. Good. Well, at least not yet. Readier than a red Hello. Greetings, puny one. I am Saladrax. I assume the disturbance I heard earlier was another attack by the Mind Flayers, but I see now that you must have been the cause. It is nice to see a new mouse stumble into my lair. Hmm. Nah. What's a dragon doing inside this dungeon? My story is truly a grand tale. Of course, every story about me is going to be grand, simply by virtue of the main character. <laughs> well said. Oh, for the love of Baal, give me a break. Now let's let's see what he says. That goes without saying, oh mighty Saladrax, please continue. Like most of the unfortunate creatures on this level, I was summoned by the mad magician in the glass cage. However, unlike most of the others, I have no real desire to escape this place. Hmm. Why choose to keep the grace and beauty of your form hidden from the world, Saladrax? I have only been here a few years, an insignificant time for a dragon. But I choose to remain for a number of reasons. For one, I find the antics of Karsten and the other lesser creatures on this level amusing. Plus, I have been able to acquire a fair hoard of treasure from the endless supply of beings Karsten conjures up with that machine, and usually I have little to fear from thieves and looters in here. Hmm. Let's get some more information out of him. I assure you, I have no intention of stealing any of your treasure, Great Saladrax. Roll for deception? Yeah. Perhaps I am paranoid, Palpatine. The machine of Lambda Mad has had some small effect on all the creatures trapped in here. We sometimes behave irrationally. Huh. <laughs> There's really not much of an option here, right? They say there is a fine line between madness and genius, Great Saladrax. Too true, I'm afraid. But I grow weary of this conversation now. Perhaps you could return another time? Uh... So he doesn't give me a quest, not anything else? Okay, let's... Please, Wild Saladrax, may I ask you some questions? <clears throat> Very well, ask your questions and I will share my knowledge with you. Okay, well, can you tell me anything about the Imprisoned One? I know nothing of this Imprisoned One. There is a concern for lesser creatures such as yourself. Is it all, Palpatine? Uh, if I may, I want to ask another question. Okay. <clears throat> Do you know how to get down to the next level of the dungeon? 
I would imagine the machine of Lambda Mad is the key to descending to the next level. Other than that, I could not really say. Another question. Do you know how to get through the glass cage that protects Carson? An interesting question indeed. I do have some knowledge of this matter. The crystal mallet is the key. Strike it against Carson's cage six times and the glass will dissolve. Do you know where this mallet can be found? From the comments of the Git Yankee leader, I know it has recently in possession of the Illithids in the northern part of the dungeon. Where it is now, I could not say. Well, he is telling us a lot of stuff, so it's, it's good I didn't actually start by attacking. What can you tell me about using the machine of Lambda Mad? I cannot tell you much about the devious contraption, but I do know this. There are notes scattered about this level that may give you the combinations to the machine. Seek them out. My thanks. Um, what can you tell me about the Git Yankee and the Illithid? Karsten summoned both groups several years ago. They waste their time battling each other or launching impotent attacks against Karsten's glass cage. Foolish creatures all. Though the Gith always showed me the proper respect. Okay. Where did Carson come from? The Mad Mage was here when I first arrived, though I suspect he is nothing more than a foolish adventurer who toyed with a contraption beyond his control. Now he is trapped within his glass cage. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you know how to get past the vault doors in the room with the torches? I know a little of this matter. The torches must be fueled by the oils found in the colored vats. Eh, vats, that's a word. I suspect it is a specific pattern which must be followed, but I cannot say for sure. Okay. Is it true dragon meat tastes like chicken? Never mind, I'll find out by myself. Okay, so this here is the option that we are gonna choose in the next episode. Otherwise this one can be a bit long. But, well, everybody's buffed up, so we're just gonna... Be ready as soon as the next episode starts to just go for the fight. So for now, let me just say something like this. And uh, yes, that is all for now. I will leave you for the time being. Perhaps when you return, I will be in a more talkative mood. And we can resume our conversation. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. All good. So, I have my people over here. Ready for the fight. Let's just quick save this for when I come back. And, as always, guys, I want to thank you all for being here in the channel, watching some Baldur's Gate 2 Throne of Ball with me. Um, you got, like, a, a surprise fight in this episode. I was not expecting a Demi Lich at all. <laughs> it went well, thankfully. Um, but, yeah, if you guys have any thoughts, any questions at all about the game, about Watcher's Keep, what we're doing, leave a comment. If you want to get notified about future videos coming to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next episode, where we will be checking out if Saladrex's flesh tastes like chicken. <laughs> so, until then, stay safe, everyone.